it seems like the negativity around the Las Vegas GP is just not going to stop anytime soon. And after the opening ceremony, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen had a lot to say on it. While the three-time world champion was definitely not happy with the entire circus, Hamilton went on to compare the track with one of the most legendary outlets on the calendar. And what he said has truly made everyone think whether or not the investment in Vegas is really worth it. But with all of the collateral damage that Vegas has done in the form of the protests of the local workers and the temperatures of the track posing a huge challenge, are drivers being a bit too harsh on Las Vegas? The F1 show has finally arrived in Vegas and it seems like everything that the season has built up for us is going to translate into this race. Under the spectacular lights of the street circuit in the Nevada desert, in the freezing temperatures overnight, the drivers are going to have the most unique challenge so far. Warm up their tyres properly, have a solid race without getting spun out, suffer from front lockups or crash into each other due to the lowered amount of grip from these circumstances. Nonetheless, many of the drivers feel like they should not even be put in this position in the first place. And who other than Max Verstappen should voice his displeasure with everything that's going on around Vegas right now. While the three-time world champion was loud and clear when he talked about why he doesn't like going on street circuits, he feels like the popularity of the sport in the USA has brought it to this moment with this race actually taking place, which is not right according to his standards. Expanding the sport in the United States is something that every fan wants to see, but the conditions that Vegas have offered are definitely a massive question mark when it comes to whether or not the sport thinks about its drivers first or the entire show that Vegas has to offer under the city lights and all of the casinos around the track. And for starters, Vegas did not disappoint when it came to the opening ceremony of what was the first race since 1982 here in Sin City. The spectacle involved a star-studded lineup of musical artists and all of the 20 drivers were involved in it as they were presented to the crowd on the main straight during an impressive light show that kind of resembled the famous trilogy The Hunger Games but were all drivers impressed by it. According to Max Verstappen this was just another addition to the entire circus factor and he felt like a clown being shown to all of the fans in Vegas. Not to be disrespectful towards Verstappen I appreciate his opinion of course and he's always been very sincere and vocal, but one couldn't help but wonder whether or not his statement is a direct dig towards all of the fans that paid so much money in order to see their heroes that they've been watching on the small TV screens from their homes. Nonetheless, Verstappen's opinion was firm, and when talking about this, he went on to say, For me, you can skip all these kinds of things. It's just standing up there and you look like a clown. I like to be in Vegas, but not so much for the racing. I guess they will still make money whether I like it or not, so it's not up to me. But also, I'm not going to fake it. I will always voice my opinion on positive things and negative things. That is just how I am. On the other hand, some of the drivers do not believe that the Vegas GP is going to resemble some of the most legendary tracks on the calendar, such as Silverstone, as Lewis Hamilton is not willing to give up his favourite track just for the glamour that Vegas is offering to him on a plate. That, however, doesn't mean he's not going to enjoy all of the good things that this circuit has to offer. And when elaborating on this, Hamilton went on to say... It is a big show for sure, and it's never going to be like Silverstone, but maybe over time the people in this community, the community here, will grow to love the sport just as we've had the privilege of growing up and experiencing. Maybe the track will be good, maybe it will be bad. It was so-so on the sim. It's definitely not Silverstone, but I think don't knock it until you try it. On top of that, Lewis Hamilton spoke about a very important factor that is very relevant right now in the media, the satisfaction of the workers. What the seven-time world champion has put a large emphasis on is the fact that the F1 circus should never ever put the workers in the shadow of their existence and they should always pay a lot of attention to what they need, mostly because it's them who are the visitors and not the locals there. 
As of now, the workers feel otherwise. The city has been ruined from all the construction work. The businesses are making millions of dollars in the span of three days while they are getting paid the same. And this must not happen going forward in the one decade deal that Vegas has signed with F1 if we are to avoid all of the negativity around this race. Definitely everything in Vegas has started on the negative side in the past couple of months, especially after all of the construction work has disrupted the normally chaotic traffic that goes around the Strip and the entire city of Vegas. On top of that, the local workers have gone on a protest for their wages to be increased as they're going to have to work overtime in order to satisfy the masses that are going to be visiting Vegas. One that is not as big as originally anticipated as the tickets have dropped by 50% and the hotel prices have gone down as much as 83%. What does seem like the biggest issue to tackle is the track's layout, as there will be a total of 17 corners, three straights, one of which will be 1.9 kilometers long, the second longest on the calendar after Baku, and two DRS zones to add to the overtaking possibilities and the show on track. But will overtaking here actually be that much of a possibility? According to the track temperatures and the challenge of warming up your tires properly, as well as the low downforce configuration that only adds to this difficulty, we might as well be stripped away from efficient racing due to the drivers having to watch out for potential crashes and close duels. This is something that Verstappen has elaborated on further and in continuation of the track's layout, he went on to say, 99% and 1% sporting event. I don't have a lot of emotions, to be honest. I just want to focus on the performance side of things. I don't like all the things that are around. I know they are part of it, but it is not my interest. The track is not very interesting, and I just want to do the best I can. There is no problem, but it's not really my thing. There are not many corners. It will depend a little bit on how grippy it is. It doesn't look like there's much grip. So what are we to expect from the opening race in Las Vegas? A lot of slippery conditions in the first practice session will definitely be a guarantee, mostly because the asphalt is new and there is zero rubber laid on it from any other racing competition before F1 heads there. On top of that, the chilly temperatures, of course, will require the drivers to have a couple of warm-up laps before they send it fully to a fast qualifying lap. And even if they rack up some solid temperature in the tyres in the limited number of corners, that amount will be lost on the main straight because the tyres are just simply not working here. Nonetheless, the entire media and F1 drivers have showcased the race in a negative spotlight without even trying it out for the first time, which is why some of them have tried to be a bit more rational and put more sense into the rest of the F1 world ahead of the biggest and most glamorous competition in the world. When talking about this, Lewis Hamilton said, I hear there are a lot of people complaining about the direction that Stefano Dominic Halley and Liberty has gone, but they are doing an amazing job. The sport continues to grow. It is a business and you will see good racing here. It is a country to tap into and really captivate the audience. We needed to have at least two races in the US. One wasn't enough. And this is one of the most iconic and unique cities that they have here. Alex Albon feels like the simplicity of the track is not gonna hurt the racing experience at all. Quite the contrary, it's going to emphasize it to the maximum and the low downforce requirement is something he feels is going to suit his car a lot more than what we can originally anticipate. With this in mind, do you think Vegas will disappoint in its inaugural showing? Let us know what you think in the comments below.